I, I have been given permission to take two questions, so I shall do that. Wonderful. I, we're giving you permission right now. Uh, Kim, this is for you. Uh, mobile TV. So, mobile TV, as you explained, it works best from a broadcaster's point of view, as broadcast stuff to a customer. But given the changes that are taking place in consumer choices in terms of trying to do, go for snacky, user-generated content like YouTube, is there a model that is emerging possibly in a broadcast fashion which can allow for this singular chosen access? If not, then it would still remain as a unidirectional push, which is losing both. I think, uh, look, it's a, it's a very good question. I think what's happening in, um, especially from a technology point of view, not so much from a content point of view, but from a technology point of view, what you're finding is that for your mass media consumption, you're getting a broadcast type of, type of service. Now, fortunately, on the mobile device, you can actually provide both because you can provide the so-called long-tail effect um, via a um, 3G or even 2.5G or edge, edge type of technology and then use the, the top 10, 12, 15, 16, whatever channels it is and actually push those to the consumer. So um, what, what, what isn't happening right now and what isn't happening in mobile TV and remember it's a new technology and it's, it's um, far from, from settled is that we're finding that, that new media formats are not really translating into a broadcast environment. They work more in a pool type of technology. All right, let me push my lap, try and get in a very quick question, one, one final question. Oh, I didn't need to push my lap, I don't think there are any other questions, so I, I will <laughs> invite all of you for, for tea and coffee and then we can start the next section, I think about 10 minutes left. I just request my colleagues to give a token of appreciation to our speakers, please.